The first batch of VTL travellers arrived in Malaysia amidst fanfare, relief and joy. The first VTL bus from Woodlands rolled into Lakin Bus Terminal at 9.15am and was greeted by a banner welcoming them back home, with officials from the Johor Mentri Basar office waiting for them. Passengers had to undergo a COVID-19 test upon arrival before they were released from the holding area. Travellers said that the process was relatively smooth and were confident any small kinks will be ironed out as more people take the trip. It's an early stage, definitely a lot of headaches and stuff. I think as time goes by, I think should be no, no issues on the, on the process. Kevin Raj Gunalan, 24, said that he is looking forward to surprising his grandmother and also his friends upon returning. Uh, I feel so happy actually. I'm like half my friends and relatives doesn't know I'm coming out. They will be surprised if I'm out today. I'm going to surprise them. Oh, yes. 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 yes, I'm going to surprise my grandmother especially. Mr. Kelvin Teo, 35, and his wife, Miss Christine Poe, are also looking forward to surprising their families, having not been back to Malaysia in 20 months. Mr. Kelvin said that he was lucky to have gotten the tickets for the journey and described the process as being smooth and well-prepared. So happy that uh, I'm very lucky to bought the, the ticket. La. At yeah. first, that, uh, we thought it's very difficult, so that we try online. Uh, so it's about 20 minute time, so uh, we, yeah, we luckily take, got the ticket. <laughs> there were also scenes of families reuniting, with a traveller reuniting with his wife and children. Some travellers spoke about how the pandemic has changed their lives. Chua Pei Si, 43, said that previously, she used to save leave and money to travel. But now, she saves up leave and money to return home. I think last time, we, keep, we saved the leave, saved the money for travel. Yeah. But now, we save the money, save the, yeah. save the leave for go back home. Maybe last time, maybe two weeks, I will go back to my hometown to see my parents. Yeah. But now, maybe once a year. Yeah. yeah. It's once a year. And luckily, this BTR opened, so I can mm -hmm. save a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the last year, uh, I need to quarantine 14 days in Malaysia, 14 days in Singapore. It cost me a total about 3000 plus. Traders at the Lakin Bus Terminal are also relieved with the commencement of the LAN VTL and are hopeful that this will boost their businesses. Okay, Alhamdulillah lah kerana kita pun dah jumpa pandemik ni hampir 2 tahun dan kita ni kat bus ni memang memang sure lah memang kita pun ketahui dengan sepadan dengan Singapura ni kita punya peratus perniagaan kita drop 90% uh, jadi memang kita alu-alukan lah bila BTL ni buka ni dah satu harapan lah walaupun dia bagi kebenaran untuk PR dengan permit dulu uh, tapi ni dah mula satu langkah yang baik lah dan mula ke depan kita pun bajet mungkin tak lama lagi mungkin pelancong-pelancong uh, Singapura pun dapat masuk sini lah lagi-lagi kita ni lebih kita kat Johor Baru ni Johor Baru kita ni memang harapan kita memang banyak pada Singapura lah pasal kita ni dah macam adik-beradik ha, Johor Baru Singapura ni memang dia memang adik-beradik oh, memang kita mengharap dia sekarang ni orang hutang ni berapa bulan tak bayar okay. <laughs> jadi kan kalau boleh dia lah dapatlah nafas baru bulan tu kan dapatlah kita meneruskan hidup kalau di sana tak tahu macam mana Oh syukurlah mudah alhamdulillah dia kena doa memang berdoa dia. Hmm. Itu yang kita minta. Hmm. Nah, kat Singapura. Hmm. Betul kat dari Singapura tak tahu macam nak di nak di pun kat Singapura. VTL buses from Malaysia heading to Singapore also started taking passengers at 8 a.m. on Monday, operated by Causeway Link. The much anticipated land VTL will allow up to 1440 citizens, permanent residents or long-term pass holders quarantine-free entry into each country on designated buses daily. <laughs>